Hey guys, what is up? Um, today we're going to be uh, having a quick update discussion about the supply shortages of the PlayStation 5 DualSense Edge stick modules. And we're going to go over to a bit some of the comments that have been posted since after the video has been uploaded. And we're going to try to narrow down on some of the things that are currently happening right now. So, let's get right into it. So, a couple of months since after I uploaded the video, another content creator had decided to do their own video about the supply shortages of the replaceable stick modules for the DualSense Edge. Um, it's really amazing to see that at least somebody had decided to uh, post a video of their own because this is something that we should definitely consider the idea of it doing in terms of the situation with Sony right now. In fact, I'm one of those people that actually does have a DualSense Edge, and it's really frustrating to see how many of these stores are sold out of these uh, things. And it's really amazing to see that people are really beginning to reach out and have their voices heard. And it, Sadly, there's barely a whole lot of videos having this discussion about the supply shortages that is happening right now, and we've never seen anything like this since a while back when we had the supply shortages of the PS5 consoles after it first launched. And this is what it literally is. It's not even funny. And this is the type of story that we used to see from IGN and Rooster Teeth once upon a time, but sadly... That is not the case anymore. And for content creators like myself and God knows how many, how many others to actually speak up and come forward with this information is really sad, to be perfectly honest. And I'm not even famous on YouTube. Like, I'm really glad to see that so many people are beginning to see what's really going on. But at the same time, it is sad, once again, that... We don't see stories like these happening on IGN and Rooster Teeth anymore because both companies have gone woke and Rooster Teeth, being one of the companies, actually shut down. And it's really sad. So let's get right on to uh, the, uh, some of the comments uh, that have been posted. Um, one comment made by IceDude777 stating that it's so disappointing and frustrating being that was one of the larger selling points to the controller. Agree, 100%. When I did the unboxing video of the DualSense Edge, it, I stated very loud and clearly that this is a game changer and this could impact the future of gaming going forward. And another comment being posted by itzidu8767. I'm surprised that third-party manufacturers aren't making them i see um there is a rumor and speculation that is going on on the internet from what i've heard but we'll get to that very shortly um on to the next comment made by capcom fan 82 you inside a cave yeah pretty much so and another comment posted by bucks back 22 it's been over a year this should be a class action lawsuit. Sony scammed us. Well, I guess this is something that shouldn't be too surprising in the gaming community because remember a few years ago, Nintendo actually went through the same situation a while back when they were persecuted in court for a class action lawsuit involving around quite a few number of stick drifts that that was happening with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. I mean, I don't remember for certain if they won the case, if they lost the case, if they compensated their customers or not. But yeah, I remember that was a huge breaking point back then, and it did somewhat make the news in the media a while back after... It, I don't want to say shortly after launch, but... At some time, at some point after it launched, gamers that bought their own Switch consoles started to have to, to have that experience. Random dude, fifty eight twenty four, um, posted that as of 
May 17th, 2024, 7 p.m. in the U.S., the joysticks are currently in stock. I order two. That's very interesting. I think what's really going on right now, um, there is a couple of sites uh, that is going on online and trying to keep track of what is it in supply right now in terms of the stick modules. Um, you could definitely find those online. There are a couple of uh, track uh, tracking sites. I think this is very similar to what we have experienced it with the PS5 consoles back then. And it looks like that they're starting their websites to try to uh, keep a track of what is in stock currently, whether it's at Best Buy, GameStop, whatever the source. But yeah, a couple of those sites are trying to keep a track of the supplies of the replaceable stick modules right now. I mean, I don't know if that's uh, your thing, but if uh, you guys want to give that a shot, definitely give it a go. If you guys really want to get a stick module that badly, definitely give that a shot. And another comment posted by Drubo17. I heard about Vixtrix uh, PS5 controller getting an upgrade with Hall Effect. It's been six months about it, and no announcement yet, but it has been confirmed by them releasing early 2024. Okay, that's very interesting. I'm not quite familiar with that manufacturer, but it's very interesting to see where this is going in terms of competition on Sony's end, in terms of the stick modules moving ahead. So, one final comment that I would like to read, and this is a very interesting one, too. Um... Borbalis 0000 scuff controllers are decent, but you will also get stick drift over time. Yeah, what about that? I did state a comment that I do plan on getting a scuffed controller somewhere down the line because I think that's something that I would definitely consider in doing in the future in terms of getting a PS5 controller with the back buttons in terms of playing games like Fortnite and many other titles. But back to the comment, um, Hyper Controllers offers Hall Effect sensors, which should eliminate stick drift, but the one I bought is complete garbage. Out of the box, uh, the right stick would randomly drift every few minutes. Yeah, I think a lot of the people that play the play, the, uh, I can't even say it. A lot of the folks that are playing the PlayStation 5 consoles are experiencing the exact same thing with their controllers as well in terms of the right stick for some reason. In fact, I was one of those people that had the issues with the right stick as well with the DualSense Edge, which was why I spent 20 bucks a while back while it was in stock to get a new stick module, which was the breaking point in terms of stick drifting. After two hours of playtime, the left stick had developed a downward drift and wouldn't accept any up or down inputs. Very interesting. I haven't really quite experienced that quite yet with my controller in terms of the left side. But anyways, I would wait for Sony to restock. Alternatively, Gullikit said they would make a Hall Effect version of the stick module a year ago on April 9th of this year they are still working on it okay that's very interesting it looks like that a a little competition that is on the is literally on the way going against sony in terms of the stick modules for the dualsense edge owners there's no confirmation of when it's going to be happening but apparently it's starting to happen um of course there are some other comments that i've read through and some of them are very quite interesting um like sony had scammed us and uh, there had some there had been some speculations and rumors going on beside uh, inside at sony headquarters um i'm not gonna get right into that in this video because i'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible but i might consider making a future video about that topic somewhere down the line but who knows but um yeah it's really exciting to see uh, that people are really starting to get their voices heard and it, seeing all these comments and being posted uh, lit literally almost every day is fascinating. And a lot of the people should really be aware of this thi these things. I really do. And again, it's really sad to see that IGN is not willing to do a story about this situation because, again, they're too busy criticizing video games 
that don't meet the standards of diversity, equity, and inclusion, quote-unquote, like Stellar Blade or Hogwarts Legacy, which both games were pretty good from what I've heard. FYI. So, what do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, but were you guys able to uh, get your hands on uh, a uh, new stick module for your DualSense Edge? Are you guys using any uh, website trackers to keep a track of these stick modules? Feel free to post it in the comment section down below. And uh, we should definitely keep these uh, conversations going. And until the next time... Catch you guys later.